From the Predator to the Terminator to Iron Man himself, augmented reality or enhancing your field of view with computer-generated perceptual data has been a staple of science fiction warfare for decades now. And the truth is the US military has been trying to work this tech into the real battlefield for just about as long. And now it looks as though the US Army is finally on the cusp of doing exactly that with their integrated visual augmentation system or IVAS goggles. Now this system is essentially a battlefield version of the Apple Vision Pro. So to get a better sense of what this might mean for the warfighter, I partnered with a small veteran owned business called Get Entered to Win. Not only to get my hands on an Apple Vision Pro for testing, but also to make it so that you can enter to win your own right now. All you've got to do is go to go.getenteredtowin.com slash sandbox with two X's and purchase one of their limited edition aviation collectible mugs for $49. Now every purchase is another chance to win, and you may notice a few other similar channels doing the same giveaway, namely Ward Carroll and Max Afterburner, both awesome channels and awesome guys, but make sure you go to the sandbox page because those guys are already so cool and I want to win this. Now to get your hands on the Army's IVAS goggles, you'd need to sign a four-year contract. And to get your hands on the Apple Vision Pro, you'd need to shell out north of $3,500. Or you could buy a limited edition collectible mug and get your hands on an Apple Vision Pro for just 49 bucks. Again, just go to go.getentertowin.com slash sandbox, pick up your mug, and enter to win. But now let's dive deeper into the Army's IVAS system, see how it compares to Apple's latest and greatest gadget, and discuss the broader implications for warfare. I'm Alex Hollings, and this is Firepower. This is the Apple Vision Pro, Apple's latest and greatest gadget meant to disrupt the personal electronics industry. Apple hopes that this new contraption will introduce spatial computing and augmented reality into our everyday lives and will go on to revolutionize the world the same way you could argue the iPhone has before. But as ungainly as this headset may look right now, the truth is this technology is really going places fast. In fact, it is already working its way onto the battlefield in ways that are sure to change warfare forever. So let's talk about the battlefield applications for mixed and augmented reality and the Army's ongoing $22 billion effort to get this sort of technology into the hands or rather onto the faces of every American warfighter. Because whether or not you like the Apple Vision Pro doesn't matter. What does matter is that augmented reality is going to change the face of warfare. Now, before we delve any deeper, let's take a minute to talk about what augmented and mixed reality even means. The basic premise behind this technology and the headsets that the US Army is experimenting with right now effectively comes down to taking the computing world off of our screens and placing it into our reality, allowing us to interact with information in entirely new ways. And to show you what I mean, I'm gonna to transition to my view inside the Apple Vision Pro right now, which will give you a POV look at just how messy my desk tends to be, but also will show you what I mean by spatial computing. This is an app called Jig that allows us to place objects directly in our field of view and then interact with them. In this case, getting a close look at the internal workings of a turbofan engine. And not only can I look all around this engine, but I can even interact with objects in the demonstration, which has huge teaching potential. But if you take this same sort of technology and put it into a battlefield environment, you have the means to do things no warfighter's ever been able to do before. The US Army's Individual Visual Augmentation System Program, or IVAS, aims to take the same sort of technology found in the Apple Vision Pro 
and place it on the face of the warfighter on the front lines of the fight. Now this could add some incredible new battlefield capabilities to the individual warfighter, including not just night vision, but thermal vision, as well as the ability to receive and display live video feeds from other systems in the environment, whether it's the outside of the vehicle that you're riding in or a drone flying high overhead. The heads-up display provides compass readings and even GPS navigation. The headset itself provides integrated communications with the rest of your unit. And in the future, AI and cloud computing will enable even greater capabilities, like improved target acquisition and up-to-date information about potential threats as they pop up. Not that unlike the $400,000 helmets worn by F-35 pilots today. In fact, you can even slave the heads-up display to your rifle optics, allowing soldiers to use the rifle to peer around corners or even to engage threats without poking their head out from behind cover. And this is not science fiction. The U.S. Army ordered its first 5,000 IVAS headsets back in 2022, and they ordered another 5,000 in 2023. Now, those headsets were of the 1.0 and 1.1 configurations, which Microsoft and the Army says would be good for things like vehicle operators. But they're now fielding and testing iteration 1.2, which is purpose-built for the infantry warfighter. Now, IVAS 1.2 makes a number of significant changes and improvements over previous iterations based on feedback derived through more than 100,000 hours of accumulated testing time across more than a thousand different soldiers. And this is extremely important because as genuinely incredible as I personally find this technology to be, I can see there being some significant setbacks to trying to field this in a combat environment. And the biggest one is weight. Now the Apple Vision Pro headset, which you may have heard is a bit heavy after you wear it for a while, weighs in at only around 1.4 pounds. Whereas the IVAS headsets 1.0 and 1.1 weighed in at around 3.4 pounds. That's two pounds heavier than this. And that may not sound like much, but it would add up fast if you had to wear it continuously for hours or days on end, hiking, let's say 20 miles or more. Now the new IVAS 1.2 shaves that weight down to about 2.5 pounds, which is honestly incredible because although it's only about a pound heavier than this headset, this headset was designed really just for your living room. And the IVAS 1.2 is meant to be worn through firefights. And to that end, the Army's already been testing their IVAS systems in a wide variety of extreme weather conditions, ranging from the frigid snowfall of Alaska to the humid heat waves of Puerto Rico. The IVAS system also has a smaller field of view than the Apple Vision Pro does when we're talking about pass-through visuals, in other words, seeing the world around you through the optics of the device. The Apple Vision Pro's field of view falls somewhere between 100 and 120 degrees, which still does limit your peripheral vision to some extent. IVAS 1.0 and 1.1 limited your field of view to 70 degrees, and the IVAS 1.2 limits it even further to just 60. Now that is limiting, but it's not as bad as it might seem because the IVAS 1.2 is designed to be worn like today's night vision optics. In other words, flipped up and down as needed rather than being worn consistently all the time. And there are still some challenges to contend with. Many of the more than 1,000 soldiers who have already tested the IVAS system have reported not just discomfort associated with wearing the heavy headset, but also dizziness and nausea resulting from interacting with the world around you through this augmented reality lens. Now, getting past that may just be a question of growing accustomed to wearing this gear, but things like improved visual displays and reducing latency can dramatically improve that as well. And I haven't even gotten to one of the most incredible aspects of the Apple Vision Pro and the iVAS systems, and that's the way they track your eye movements to interact with the software. Rather than using a mouse or touchscreen as we do with most of today's technologies, these systems actually track your eye movements using your focal point as the cursor. Again, not unlike the helmets leveraged by today's fighter pilots that enables them to target enemy aircraft for high off-bore sight shots or when they're off to the side or even behind you. 
Now, this does take a bit of getting used to, but over the past two weeks, I've gotten very accustomed to that in the Apple Vision Pro, and I can even type pretty quickly now in this thing, using my eyes to choose the letters and making the gesture that the Apple Vision Pro recognizes as a mouse click. Now, just about two months ago now, the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division soldiers participated in the Phase 2 testing of the IVAS 1.2 headset, and the Army reported the results were very positive. So much so that just a few months earlier, they had already awarded Microsoft a $95 million supplemental contract to produce another 280 IVAS 1.2 headsets and continue research and development towards advanced cloud computing systems that could be integrated into the kit. Now, all iterations of the IVAS system are comprised of a few different components that are not that unlike the Apple Vision Pro, starting with the headset and a body-worn computer, which looks like this with the Apple Vision Pro. The Army refers to the IVAS's body-worn computer as the puck. In the case of the IVAS system, it also comes with an integrated data radio and three batteries meant to conform to the shape of the human body. And those batteries are another very important element here. The Apple Vision Pro, for instance, with its integrated computer and battery, are good for about two hours on a full charge, which wouldn't be much use in a real combat operation. So the IVAS system needs to last quite a bit longer. Just how long its batteries are good for, the Army hasn't said quite yet. Now, ultimately, the U.S. Army intends to purchase more than 120,500 IVAS systems, enough to equip every frontline warfighter that they've got, giving every U.S. Army infantry soldier the same visual capabilities we've seen depicted in science fiction movies like The Predator, for decades now. But believe it or not, the benefits of the IVAS system could manifest for the U.S. Army well before the headsets themselves ever reach combat. And that's thanks to the Squad Immersive Virtual Trainer, which according to the Army will allow troops wearing the IVAS system to participate in extremely realistic battlefield drills, simulating integrated adversary forces and providing dynamic targets that can acquire data from the rifle optics and the headset to provide real-time feedback on accuracy, shot groups, and more. But if you ask me, the broader implications of the IVAS program and the technology being developed therein extend way beyond the headsets making their way toward the fight today. You see, the U.S. Army intends to invest about $22 billion into the IVAS program throughout its production run, and Apple has already invested about $20 billion into the research and development of this headset here. That means in just these two organizations, we're talking about $42 billion invested into augmented reality and the technology required to harness it. And I know we talk about a lot of big numbers on this channel, but to give you a sense of how much that is, for that same price, you could build two Ford-class supercarriers and 146 F-35Cs to operate off of them. And with all of that investment, not only will the capabilities of these systems continue to improve by leaps and bounds, but they will also continue to make strides toward replacing gear that looks like this with systems that look like this instead. And when we get to that point, not just warfare, but the whole world is never going to look the same again. Now, before we close, I want to remind you one more time that you can enter to win this Apple Vision Pro right now. Just go to go.getentertowin.com slash sandbox with two X's and buy one of their limited edition aviation collector's mugs. Every purchase is another entry to win and the pool of competitors isn't all that big, so you've got a legitimate shot. Every purchase supports a small veteran-owned business called Get Entered to Win and Sandbox News. And you might even walk away with your own Apple Vision Pro that'll let you experience augmented reality for yourself. And that'll do it for this edition of Firepower from Sandbox News. I'm Alex Hollings. Make sure to swing by sandboxnews.com today and every day for all the latest in news, entertainment, and motivation from all around the force. If you got anything out of today's video, make sure to click like and subscribe down below and leave me a comment so I know what I should cover next. And of course, don't forget to tap on that bell icon so you never miss a drop from Sandbox News.